Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty. Food review. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. So, we are here and we're trying out a different item from Planet Wings, and that is a taco from them. I know Planet Wings really specializes in wings uh, pertaining to chickens, and you know, it's in the, the name Wings, you know, it's what everyone really gets from Planet Wings, but they have other items such as a taco. Now, before we get to that, though, there is uh, something that I want to share with you all. You know, published today was a report by the World Health Organization about processed foods, um, meat such as hot dog meat, bacon, cold cuts, and so on, and how there is a possible relation to those meats and cancer. Now, obviously, I do lots of reviews, and this really does hit home right here. So that really made me think about this, and I had to really deliberate in my mind about this, and, you know, unfortunately, I don't know how, how long these reviews will, will keep going, you know, just based off of health concerns and, and all of that. Just kidding, I'm just messing with you guys. No worries, this review series is not going anywhere at all. Um, I do feel that it is a little overhyped in my opinion, but, you know, really, you know, I know to excess it can pose a danger, but, you know, always just limit yourself. And uh, this review series isn't going anywhere. As long as there's a, a demand for fast food and frozen food, and as long as it's popular, I'll be right here sitting at this desk reviewing stuff. So with that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, we have this. And again, this is a taco from Planet Wings. So first in the cup here is uh, some salsa. Looks like it has an ER at the end. And then here's the taco itself. Now, uh, I kind of wanted a soft shell one, um, so that's what I got. You can see here, though, it's not a standard taco. It looks a little more kind of spread out um, than a regular taco, but nonetheless, we're just going to eat it anyways. Um, on it is beef, little pieces of uh, lettuce, tomato, and cheese so it seems and here's some salsa also you could put on the taco you know dip it in whatever it may be they really uh, loaded up this taco so we're gonna make sure there's adequate coverage right here and then we're just gonna take some bites and just try it out let you know how it is and uh and maybe try some salsa on it too so taco beef taco soft shell from planet wings going in ladies and gentlemen Got to take another bite of the meat here. Before I even had this taco, and maybe we'll get to the, the salsa later on, before I even had this taco, uh, someone was describing this to me personally. They were saying that this taco, in their opinion, is the best on this side of the Picos. They said that word for word. Hyped it up. And, you know, I, I, I try this. Would I say that this is the best on the side of the alleged Picos? Uh, not necessarily. Now, is it an acceptable taco? Absolutely. Um, you know, absolutely. But would you say, would I say that this is the best? Absolutely not. Um, it does have its flaws. Um, 
you know, you are getting a, a taco from a wing place. But at the same time, you know, it, it has some good qualities as well. One of the flaws I find in this dish is really when it comes to preparation. In that I think they overloaded it with the toppings, um, especially cheese. All right. Now, of course, if a taco just sprinkling some cheese on the top really doesn't detract at all unless you don't like cheese, and that's fine. But what I think they did here at Planet Wings with the cheese that they put on this taco is they, they just took handful after handful, perhaps, because one bite that I took, it was just cheese and the, the, the soft shell and no meat whatsoever. Um, and it was a good probably inch, you know, thick of thick layer of, of cheese on this thing. Um, so really, you know, it can be a little bit of a, a turnoff when you just bite into the taco and you only get this mouthful of cheese. Um, and no meat, you know, it's always good to have a good, a good balance, um, when you're eating this. Uh, the meat of the taco was, was okay. I'd say standard quality, you know, it, it's just different. Um, this is more like, the, the meat here is just more, uh, I guess finer, you know. I know, you know, kind of Taco Bell's meat can be, you know, just in little clumps almost. Um, this is just, this is kind of maybe finer ground uh, meat, you know, kind of molded into this, uh, for the taco, but regardless of its presentation, um, the meat itself is, you know, I'd say standard, you know, nothing too, too horrible or alarming about it, um, you can taste a little bit of like a, uh, a, a very little hint of perhaps a, a saltiness mixed in there, but, uh, overall the beef is a standard quality, nothing too awful about it, just, just kind of standard, um, you know, a little, a little, you know, juicy given the amount of it, but just standard, you know, quality beef, um, nothing really to rave on about there. As for the lettuce and the tomatoes, which are on this taco, you know, it's, uh, they're just kind of there. The real problem that I have with this taco, though, is just the amount of cheese that they put on, um, just kind of drowned out a lot of the other flavors at times, and, you know, it can, as I said, just be a little... A little disconcerting at times. Um, just kind of dumping on a tiny bit of the, the salsa just to see if that amplifies anything. I don't know if it will or not, but, you know, worth a shot, right? I mean, it's just, the thing with this taco is that they just put so much cheese on. The cheese itself that's on the taco just isn't necessarily the best quality in the world. Um, not the best quality cheese in the world. Some of it even gives a little bit of a bitter taste, which uh, can't be the most pleasant thing. Um, the main problem I have with this taco is just the amount of cheese that they put on it, and perhaps the quality of the cheese, which does detract from the overall flavor a little bit. Otherwise, however, again, just an average taco, you know, I, I can't go on about this and say, you know, this is the best taco on this side of the Pecos. I, I, I can't, I can't say that. Um, and, you know, would I even say that Taco Bell has some better varieties? Yes, indeed. Um, the taco is just an average taco. Would I recommend it? You know, maybe, but, uh, you know, overall, I just... Just not even, maybe not even average, just maybe a little bit below average, but, you know, and that's what we have. The taco itself, again, just, the meat is just kind of standard, maybe even just a little bland flavored. Um, they put a lot of cheese on it, which drowns out some of the other flavors. Um, in the end, you know, you, you, know you, you want some wings, you want a taco, fine, you know. That, that's, that's what it's really good for, just almost like a side thing. No, I wouldn't really say, yeah, go to Planet Wings and just get the tacos, I'd say, if you want to go to Planet Wings, get the wings. If you're feeling for a taco, maybe get one. But uh, that's what I'd really say about this dish. Um, just kind of a, a standard taco. Nothing too special about it. You know, I wouldn't go out of my way to get this, but if you're there getting wings and you suddenly want a taco, then, then this is the kind of thing that you would probably want. Price-wise, this was only $2, so... I mean, the one, the one good thing, at least, is even though they gave you a big heap of, of cheese, even too much, you know, at least they, at least they gave you a, a, a good amount of meat, too, but 
you know, as I said, at times just it's very disproportionate just the way it all lays out. Sometimes you get more cheese than anything else in a bite. And again, that can't be the most pleasant thing in the world. So price-wise is what it is. With that being said, out of 10, what are we going to be giving this? Well, out of 10, I'm going to be giving this just a 7.0 out of 10. Um, slightly below average. Nothing too special about it. Just a taco, you know, nothing to go on about this. And uh, what brought it below that 7.5, which is average, was just the amount of cheese that they put on can just drown out other things. And uh, that's really what, what gave it the rating that it currently has. That's all we have for you. This is Run One Empty Food Review. I'm your host, Supported Leak, and today we reviewed the soft shell beef taco from Planet Wings. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you later.